This is what's left of the Indonesian fishing boat which sank off the island of Java. About 100 asylum seekers were on board when it was struck by big waves and capsized. It's hard to believe that anyone would have survived. 55 died all. 55 people are dead. Yeah, 20 babies. Some blame the Australian government for not helping them. This is on you. All my family died before because of you. The, gover the Australian government, we called the Australian government. For 24 hours, they were telling us, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. And they didn't come. We sent them the position on the GPS, exactly where are we. And we draw, nobody come. Many of the asylum seekers were from Pakistan, Iraq and Lebanon. Here in Kabit, in Lebanon's north, friends and relatives have received news that 17 people from their village have died. Local officials say they had hoped to reach Australia in search of a better life. These families were trying to escape poverty and hunger because we have nothing here but cows and trees. Back in Java, the survivors await news of what will happen next. Neither Indonesia or Australia are likely to give them asylum. The long-standing issue of asylum seekers has been a divisive one for both countries. Each year, scores of people use Indonesia as a transit point as they embark on the treacherous journey to Australia by sea. The sinking of this boat will no doubt underscore the importance of the issue when Australia's Prime Minister Tony Abbott visits Indonesia next week. Ashinim, BBC News.